Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm gonna do a video on the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. So this thing does coffee and the K-Cups, and it seems to be really popular, so I'm gonna do a review on it. Okay, let's just do a quick unboxing. Kind of heavy, so be careful. But it seems to be packaged fairly well. <laughs> okay, so they've got this thing packaged up fairly well. They got plastic over everything, tape over everything. Okay, so there's lots of little tape over everything, and I've never seen this before. It's even got this thing over the plug and you got to cut it off so they may want you to read the instructions before you plug it in okay so i've got the tape off and they've got a nice little label on here that says brew basket inside so you take this off and there's that single serve uh, brew basket don't forget that so overall it is plastic it does have this cord storage in the back which is a nice feature the cord's not super long Okay, so I just want to go over this, that brew basket storage. This is a really nice place to, to store it. There's no other function for this. But you do have to have it in there just in a certain way or this lid won't go on. So it goes like this. Because it's got these grooves up here. So you can't just throw it in there. It's made very precise. It has to go in. So it can be kind of a pain to get it in. But once you get it lined up, then... Then it comes down in seats. That's kind of a nice place to store it. Okay, so first we're just gonna look around. It's got this nice lid. It's got a basket that comes out. And it's got that pause where it'll pause the coffee if you lift your coffee pot out. It only goes, it's key, so it'll only go one way. So you won't be able to lift this up when it's brewing coffee because the steam, or the steam and hot water is gonna come out here. This is where you're gonna fill it up with water. And then over here is your K-cup side. You're always gonna, it says you always have to use this with the K-cups. And it snaps down. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the pot of coffee first. And this is a 12 cup pot of coffee. And all the instruction manuals that I read say one one tablespoon spoon for every cup of coffee, which is about a cup of coffee, just a little bit less. That's about what it is. So these take the standard uh, 12 cup filters. We're gonna pour our coffee in. Then we're gonna add the water. Okay, so it does have a nice big opening to add the water back down in here. sits there so when you're ready okay so make sure you close the lid lids close and you just to brew a pot of coffee um, make sure it's on this which it is the display shows it. it's not on the single serve and then I'm just gonna turn it on brew now okay so it starts brewing right away I've got a stopwatch and I'm gonna time it and see how long it actually takes to brew 12 cups it's got a side glass here that's really nice kind of points out to the front a little bit it's not super loud it's just got that standard percolator sound where it's boiling the water and kind of steaming it and then getting it on top of the coffee grounds okay so i want to show you this pause it's a really nice feature so when it's brewing if you want to take the coffee pot out it's going to stop the water from coming out or the coffee from coming out you do get a drip which might make the burner stink but as soon as you put it in and it's going to start flowing again. Now you can't take the coffee pot out for an indefinite amount of time, but you can take it out and pour yourself a quick 
pot of coffee. Okay, while we're waiting on that, it does have a really nice uh, manual user guide. It even looks like they might even sell spare parts. Uh, it's very in depth of how to do it. I've read the instructions. It's very simple. Um, there is a few specific things I'm going to go over, but it's a very good manual. Okay, so some people do want to see how it does brew. Uh, I don't recommend doing this at home. I'm going to lift the lid a little bit, and we're going to have a sneak peek. So you can see it's it's getting the coffee grounds pretty well soaked with hot water. It's coming right out in the middle, and looks like it's getting a pretty good uh, amount of water everywhere. Like I said, I don't recommend doing this at home. It is kind of hot and hot steam coming around, but there you get an idea of what, what the actual brewing of the coffee looks like. Okay, so we're at the four minute mark and it's at the four cup uh, on the coffee pot. That's about standard. Uh, these coffee pots don't claim to be super fast. So, you know, the coffee pots sit in there really nice. It's kind of designed to sit right where it needs to go. move around a bunch. It's got like a really nice burner for it to sit in. You're not going to get it out of alignment. Okay, so I've been reading the manual and if you're brewing a pot of coffee, you cannot use the cake upside. It will not, it will not let it work. Okay, in the manual it also states that if you leave the coffee on, the burner is going to stay on for two hours. After the two hour mark, this will turn off and the burner will turn off. So if you forget to turn your coffee pot off, it should turn off. I'm going to test that function also. Okay, we're at the eight minute mark and it's at the eight cup mark. So I, I do want to talk about this display. It's a very nice display. I like it. It's kind of subdued a little bit, but it looks really nice and modern. Uh, these lights don't flash. They're on steady, but it's just these buttons are nice and big to press. And it just looks really nice and modern. Okay, so keep in mind this does get a little warm. I'm not getting a bunch of steam out of here, so that's good. Okay, so towards the, towards the end of the cycle, I am getting a lot of steam coming out the back, not the front so much. And it is kind of hot, and the lid is hot, so this area is really hot. Okay, so right at the 11 minute mark, we're, we're at 11 cups. So I put 12 cups of water in. These, um, these coffee pots never really give you the exact amount of water you put in, because some has lost to steam and heating, but we're right at the 11 minute mark and it's pretty much done. Now this is still pretty hot. I don't recommend lifting this up. There's a lot of steam. So the filter worked really well. And the coffee grounds look like they're really saturated. Um, looks like it did a really good job of brewing the coffee. So when it's done, it's got this keep warm light comes on. So mainly just the burner is on. If you want to turn the burner off, you can turn it off or it will go off after two hours. Okay, now it's time to try some of this coffee. Okay, it pours really well. Feels ergodynamically good. Smells good. Okay, so we're running right, right around 167, 168. And same with the coffee pot. Okay, so when you're done, you're going to want to let this cool. But it does have this little ear you can hold on to. And this is what you're going to take over to the trash can and dump out. Looks like the filter did a really good job. That plunger is going to keep you from spilling any on the floor. Okay, so it's got this brew strength button. I'm going to give it a test. Um, it says regular, but if you press the button... It goes to bold. I read the instructions. It says it, it takes more time to brew the cup of coffee. So I've got the standard um, coffee grounds in there and the same amount, 12 cups of water, and I'm going to time it. Okay, so on this um, bold brew, we're at the eight cup mark and we're at 11 minutes. So you're going to want to give yourself plenty of time if you want to do the bold. Eight, almost nine cups at 11 minutes. Okay, so the bold is finishing up, and we are right at the 14 and a half minute mark. That's about standard for other coffee pots that have this bold feature. Just gonna brew it a little slower. 
Okay, so I'm checking the temperature of the bold. It's about the same, 165, I saw 167, 168. So no temperature change. It does use the same amount of water, just takes longer. Okay, so I did taste the bold. I'm not a huge, I'm not a big coffee expert or by no means. It did taste a little stronger, but I just didn't notice a huge difference. Okay, now we're gonna move over to the K-cup side. Its default is in the coffee pot, so you're gonna to wanna to put it over to single. I'm gonna lift this up. You want it, you have to have this gray thing that pierces the coffee cup and this installed. It all comes installed when you buy it. But you're simply gonna put your K-cup in there. It says to shake the K-cups. You don't have to push down and pierce it. When you close the lid, it's gonna pierce it. Now it says you really wanna make sure you hear that snap. Okay, so for K-cups, you're gonna put your water in here and a travel mug, it comes up to about there. So for K-cups, 10 ounces is what it says to use. And 10 ounces is one cup and a quarter of water, which equates to about that. So you're gonna dump it in there. What's nice about this is it does have a little, this sight glass, I don't use the coffee pot sight glass, but this one actually comes in really handy and it's right on the dot. You're gonna close that, make sure you close that. Now it's not doing anything. You gotta place your cup underneath there. It's not gonna do anything until you, now you, this does have a brew strength too. We're gonna to do regular first and time it. So we've got it on single and then you just press the, press the start button. And it says brewing. Okay, so these things are not immediate either. So what it's gonna do is heating up the water back there. You can do it here doing something. And then once it gets the water to a certain temperature, then it's going to uh, squirt it out into the K-cup and into your cup. So I'm going to time it and I'll let you know. Okay, it sounds like it's getting ready to do something. It's really making some noise. And there comes the water. And I think once the water starts flowing, it goes pretty quick. You can see the water is going down pretty quick. Okay, it's all done. It kind of made some noise there at the end. Right at the three minute mark. And unlike the coffee side, this automatically shuts off so you can see there's no power buttons or anything on so when you leave it's automatically shut off okay so try and 10 ounces is pretty much the size of a of a mug too so if you wanted to put this into a mug you put the tray in and then that's where the water hits it okay when you're all done you lift it up you've got this gray tray and you're supposed to rinse it out. You can probably pick, yeah, pick the K-cup out. It cleaned the inside of the K-cup out really well. Throw it away. And then it just says to rinse these off. And it also has this other tray, this uh, tunnel it calls it. And there's a little bit of gunk in there, so it would be good to rinse it off too. Okay, so on the normal strength, I do want to show you that this the K-cup side comes out a little hotter, and I noticed that when I was drinking it. It is, it's about five or six degrees hotter. Okay, we're gonna do a single cup bold, and we're gonna time it and taste it. Okay, it's done with the bold cycle. Three minutes. I'm not sure how a K-cup, you can make a K-cup bolder because it's just got so much in there and the water's gonna come out no matter what you do, it's the same strength, I would think. And it's relatively the same temperature. Okay, so next we're gonna use, we're gonna take this basket out and we're gonna use a single serve for coffee. And it's just, it just sits in the place of the basket. Now it just lifts up, it's got an O-ring on it. And then it's got a max for the coffee. And that's kind of a filter material. So we're gonna put the coffee up to here, close the lid and throw it in there. Okay, so the instructions say to add three tablespoons and that's exactly what I did. And it comes up just to the bottom of the max. So then we're gonna close it. It doesn't snap or anything, it's just got an O-ring that kind of just makes it tight. We're going to put it in there, close the lid, make sure it snaps. Okay, so for the single brew coffee grounds, it says to use 14 ounces. And that's about, so that's a cup, 
1.75 cups and I measured it out it, it's about like this but what's really nice is this uh, glass on the side I've never really used these but I think it's gonna work really well okay so I put 14 ounces in I'm gonna close the lid we're gonna do just a regular strength I've got it on the single side and we're just gonna start it okay so since it had 14 ounces in it this one took about um, three and a half minutes. Okay, so this is going to be just a normal pot of, normal cup of coffee. And it is a little hotter than on the coffee pot side. Not much. Okay, so I tasted it with this single serve coffee grounds. And I put cream and sugar in mine, and it tastes okay. It's really not as smooth as the um, the bold. You know, I think the bold on the coffee pot side did taste a little smoother. Okay, so now we're gonna do our cleanup. We're gonna have to clean this up. This could be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so I don't know if you can see it, but it makes a pretty big mess inside there. There's coffee grounds everywhere. So I'm gonna take this to the trash can and try to get as many coffee grounds out as I can. Okay, so I took that to the trash can. There is still a lot of coffee grounds in there. So this is gonna be kind of a mess to clean up every time. Okay, so it does recommend taking this funnel out and it is a little dirty down in there. And we'll take these over and rinse them out. So here's everything you're gonna clean. It says you can throw this in the dishwasher top rack only. Be careful, there is a needle down in there that could poke you, it's really sharp. The funnel you can rinse out and throw in the dishwasher. This is on the coffee pot side. And here's the coffee pot. And I do like that it's got a big opening you can get in there and scrub if something gets stained or something. And the, the lid does come off relatively easy. It's nice and concave so if you don't get it exactly centered as the coffee's coming down, it will make it into the coffee pot. Okay, so it comes with this um, usage tips and it's all colored so it must be really important but it talks about if this nozzle gets clogged so up here at the top you've got this gray part and it's got an arrow on it but in order to take it off you're going to turn it just a quarter turn and then it kind of just pulls out and then you can take it out so they talk about that that nozzle you might have to just poke, poke a little wire in there or something to clean out that nozzle so getting it on is just the opposite you're going to Push it on and then you got to turn it just a little bit to get that arrow to line up and the, there's ears that go in. So make sure you got it right and just kind of tug on it and it won't come out. So you may have to clean that. Okay, another thing I want to check is the clock for power outages. That can be frustrating. So I've got it unplugged. Okay, so I had it unplugged for just a little bit and the time came back. So that's... Okay, I want to talk about setting the time. It was a little tricky. I had actually read the instructions. Normally an LCD clock, you can just set the time and you kind of figure it out, but it's only got one button. So as soon as you press it, the hours are flashing and then you can change the hours. Now, it was tricky getting over to the minutes. You've got to stop what you're doing and, and after three seconds, then the minutes start flashing. And then you can change the minutes to what you want. So it's just a little different and then you just let it sit and then it'll stop flashing. That's your time set. So just press this and it starts, the hours are flashing, you can change the hours, stop, three seconds later, then the minutes will start flashing. Okay, I'm going to show you how to, this can be programmed to start in the morning. You're going to hold the program button. Then at the same time, you got to keep the program button held. You can change, you can change the hours just like you did on the time. I'm going to set it for 5 p.m. Wait three seconds while you're still holding the program button. And so you can change the minutes. So I'm going to let it go at 5 p.m. And then once you get the program set, press the program button again and that program light will come on. Press it again and it'll go off. Press it. And if you want to check it, let's see if we can check it. Yeah. So if you just press and hold it, it'll tell you what time it's going to start. And you can change it if you had to. You can do bold or regular strength, but you can only do the coffee pot side. It does not let you do the cake up side. So again, just there. Now it's going to be set to start at five. 
Okay, so I'm even gonna check unplugging it. So a quick power outage. And the program does stay all right. And the time has stayed. I'm sure if you if you lose power for an extended period of time, I'm sure it probably, uh, you lose everything. It reverts back to zero. Okay, I've got it programmed to start at six. I just wanna show you, I got it programmed to start at six. I wanna show you how it starts at six. If I was gonna set this in the morning, I would set it probably 15 minutes before I wanted a pot of coffee. Okay, six o'clock, the brew light came on and it's gonna start and it's brewing. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. This is Just a Dad. Um, I really like the form factor of this. It seems very well made. Everything seems very well thought out. I like the display. I like the ergonomics of it. It just seems like it's going to last. It's made to be cleaned. I do like this side glass over here. And I think it's going to be a really nice machine. It's got the, and if you want the capability of both, that's, that's what this is all about. And it actually brewed a really good pot of coffee. So again, thanks everyone for watching, and please like and subscribe.